In college, I got a moped because I figured it had good gas mileage and also it'd make me look cool because it's basically a motorcycle, right? And also I could put it in the back of my minivan if I needed to move it somewhere, which I know, a minivan in college, I was really maxing out my cool potential. I decided I was always gonna be safe and even though it wasn't legally required that I wear a helmet, I'd always wear a helmet whenever I was on the moped. Except I didn't put the visor down one time, let the air kinda fly in my face, and a bug hit me right in the eye. Man, that hurt. And so I pulled over and I'm like rubbing my eye, which is probably not what you're supposed to do, trying to get all these little bug parts out of my eyes. And I realized I wore a helmet, but didn't put down the visor. So a bug could have hit me anywhere else, but it hit me in the eye. I was protecting myself, but I wasn't protecting the most fragile thing that's necessary to operate a moving vehicle, which is my eyes. And so often we worry about protecting our bodies and our lives, but not the most fragile and important part, which is our soul. We invest in our future. We've got insurance. We work hard and study hard so that we can get a good job. We do all of these things to take care of our temporal needs on this earth. But we need to be worried even more so about our soul and how we can take care of it. So protecting your soul starts with a relationship with God through prayer. Take advantage of mass, which is the greatest prayer. The sacrament of reconciliation, building virtue in your life, and your soul will be better protected rather than ignored. So don't just protect the external things, the temporal needs. Protect the thing that matters most, your soul. And if you need any tips on cool modes of transportation, probably should ask someone else. This is Kyle Hyman. For more, check out kylehyman.com.